Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to our <clears throat> master class. Today is July 7, 2022. Yes, time flies, right? Time flies. Please let me know if you can hear me okay. If you can hear me okay uh, while I, I just... <clears throat> present for you uh, my guitar with new strings. I have just changed my strings and uh, this is a little bit challenging because it's it's hard to tune. It does not maintain, you know, um, the guitar tuned. But let's see how is the sound, right? Johnny, hi Edward, <clears throat> Fredinald, and uh, Kandasami. And what about the sound of the guitar with the new strings? Because it's new and it's only for these three things strings here at the top see then instead of slide sliding you know like like this it's better to boom. So you take your finger out and then you press again. Like that's it. Sami, Motebank, Gaone, Michelinha from Brazil, Michele. Brasil, meu Brasil brasileiro, meu mulato isoneiro. Tedros, Kirui, Rony, Hara, Budani, Merian. 
Evans, please type here for me. From where are you taking this session today? From where are you taking this session today? Hi, Grace. Malaysia, Philippines, Italy. Evans. I just came last month from Florence, first time in Florence. Your country is really, really special. We have Ghana, Indonesia, we have Sri Lanka, um, Kenya, we have Congo, Cameroon, Saudi Arabia, uh, Trinidad and Tobago, Ethiopia, Kenya. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Unique. See, Michelle, it's an international audience, right? It's so special. This is so special. Then we have Nelson from Mozambique, Algeria, Nigeria, Malaysia, Philippines again, Dubai. Dubai, wonderful. Uh, Michel, Dubai for me um, from 2000 and 2014 to 2016, Dubai was almost a second home. You know, I was traveling so frequently to Dubai that it was almost a second home. And um, such a special place, right? Such a special place full of opportunities and then we have Apia from Qatar that's amazing I hope our national team Brazil will do great in Qatar in November Apia yes in the World Cup right in the World Cup Yes, Michel, I need to go. I, I think last time I traveled to Dubai was 2018 for vacation. For vacation, yeah. Just one more song. Is that okay? Just one more. Let me see if it is tuning now.
Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> welcome to our masterclass. So, um, pretty much every Tuesday, right? Can we say that? Pretty much every Tuesday. Let's see. The vast majority of the Tuesdays, <clears throat> we are here together to talk about this fascinating topic that is Lean Six Sigma, right? Please just type here for me, where are you in the Lean Six Sigma journey? Are you new to this world? Are you a certified white belt? Are you a certified yellow belt? Are you a certified green belt? A certified black belt or a certified master belt? Master black belt maybe. Yes, please type here for me, where are you in the Lean Six Sigma uh, journey? Okay, because today, I'll be talking about I'll be talking about the different belt levels and uh, we'll be reinforcing the main characteristics um, of each belt level yes and I'll be happy to take uh, any questions okay today it's a kind of shorter session yes but very important very very much important okay so we have here let me see <coughs> We have green, we have another green, we have white, 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 white. Okay, so we have a lot of whites. Yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Excellent. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to this session. So see, <clears throat> Six Sigma was created in the United States 1980s, yes, by Bill Smith. And many people say that it came as one of the reactions of the amazing job that Japan was doing um, in terms of quality. Yes, in many different sectors. And uh, one of them, for sure, the electronics. Yes, so it's not a coincidence that Six Sigma was created in Motorola. Yeah, and as you know, it is part of the American culture this thing with hero and here we will not criticize we'll just state some facts yes it's a fact that <clears throat> americans um love love this thing with heroes and uh as anything in life we have pros and cons yeah of any any strategy any approach yes and a, an important pro of that is i mean it's kind of exciting right it gives a it gives a sense of accomplishment yeah are we on the same page like okay so now i am a white belt and then i want to go to the next level and then i want to go to the next level this is good i i see this as something good something positive because we must we must have targets in life we must have objectives in life yes there's this famous quote that what yeah <clears throat> what does life want from 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 each of us what does life want from each of us because we have uh, special moments amazing moments but with these special and positive and uh, happy moments all of us we have our challenging moments as well right all of us, we are fighting our battles, right? Our emotional battles, our family problems <laughs> battles. I don't know, maybe our financial, you know, battles, financial problem battles. So all of us, all of us, we have our package, our list of battles, right? So, I mean, good things come in this life with challenging things. So what does life uh, want from us, right? So they say that life really wants from us that we fight in a good sense, peacefully, peacefully, we fight. Yeah, we, we fight many times <laughs> against ourselves. Yes, many times we are just fight against our <clears throat> insecurities, our, uh, our fears. Yeah. Uh, Many times we are fighting against the, the ghosts that uh, do not really exist. We just create, 
in a, in our minds like right and uh and uh in this context in this uh, <laughs> philosophical context i think it's very much important that you find the triggers that help you that help you be motivated be energized yes so it's really about finding your energizers your energizers and in my humble opinion when you put when you set some targets some objectives uh, it helps it helps quite a lot so i remember in 2015 even being a master black belt already my master black belt certification came in in 2010 by delphi automotive systems i decided to take the asq test the asq test is american society for quality certification process is very rigorous very much very much and i decided to take this test <coughs> uh and i remember that i went to a to um I, I i i found a simulation you know a simulated test yeah you can find this they call question bank question bank and i thought well four hours 150 questions and i thought well i am already a master black belt so i can just go ahead and take this test but let's just run you know this the simulated test but i'm sure i'll do great and i remember that i scored 40 percent for zero for zero percent yeah so there is another famous quote that is many times you don't know what you don't know yeah they call this um they call this unconscious incompetence yeah i didn't know that i was that incompetent <laughs> yes yes that's that's dangerous that's dangerous and then i set i just set an objective i'm gonna i'm gonna pass you know i, I will be i will become a certified black belt by the american society for quality and then i studied for one year for one year and then i took the test in the united states and i and i got approved you know but i remember i remember the the kind of feeling you know the kind of feeling of kind of feeling of you know having to reach this objective i want to become a certified black belt you know and then in 2018 i want to become a certified master black belt even more challenging because in my region there were only two in latin america only two because people normally do not like just to have a chance to take the test you need to submit a, a portfolio of documents that normally it can easily easily uh, go you know as as high as 100 pages you know 120 i think my my portfolio we got like around 90 90 documents 90 and then they they take a few months to analyze your portfolio and if you are in case you are approved then you can take the test so it's a very rigorous very serious uh, certification process i think in the world there are less than 200 master black belts certified by by asq i i do have here um, an illustration where you can see the the, <clears throat> the certification path um in asq yeah so no, I think this one here is better. So you have this number, this number of certifications, you know. So yellow belt, green belt, ASQ does not have a white belt, yes. Yellow belt, green belt, black belt, and then the very final level is uh, master black belt. And they do have a lot of other certification, certified uh, biomedical auditor, they do have the very famous certified quality engineer this uh, cqe is very very famous certified quality engineer certified quality inspector yeah so uh i i, I remember the sensation you know of i i want to 
to you know to accomplish to to to, to reach this objective so it's it, i i understand that it's very very much important right now we are in this um, <clears throat> important journey that is to reach 100,000 white belt certified for free in the world <clears throat> who knows where where are we who knows let's see here someday someday i'll be here celebrating you know the 100,000 yes 100,000 white belt certified certified white belts for free in the world yes yes bianca yes bianca we just crossed this mark of 40,000 and we've started two years ago like in this digital environment yes two years ago so once again someday someday i'll be here celebrating celebrating uh <clears throat> this this mark we will be here celebrating this this accomplishment right so once again i think it's an important um pro is an important pro is um when we talk about certifications when we talk about setting you know objectives it keeps us motivated yes but there is an important con that must be that must be analyzed okay so you cannot set a certification objective with the mentality of checking the box so if you are aiming to become a certified white belt please do not do not walk this journey just for the sake of having a document just for checking the box okay now i am a white belt now i am a yellow belt now i am a green belt now i am a black belt you really need you need to guarantee that in this process you really become a green belt so you can say you are a green belt this is different very much different from uh, you hold a green belt certificate it's very much different see if you guys just google if you guys just google <clears throat> deming 14 points 14 points if you just google it, it just came you know it just it will come the list will just come uh from many different many different uh, websites you know but if you take for example i just took the first one that came in here create a constant purpose toward uh, improvement yeah i want to show uh one here that is see this is very interesting very interesting eliminate management by objectives yeah so what is the message from professor Deming here what is the message because it sounds counterintuitive because we need to we need to manage by objectives we need to measure things yeah <clears throat> it sounds counterintuitive so what's the message from Deming here the message from professor edwards Deming is every time every time that you set a numerical objective every time that you set an objective that is clearly measurable you know in this case it's a it's a discrete variable it's a it's a binomial variable right it's a it's a binary binary variable yeah and you can use the binomial <laughs> probability distribution right you you got your certificate or you were rejected yeah you are a certified green belt or you were not a certified green belt every time that we set this kind of uh, that we face this kind of situation there is a risk associated to that that is really wow well, now 
I got this green belt certification, you know, now I have this document, this certificate in hand, but maybe you are not a green belt. Yeah. And what do I mean by you are not? Uh, if you set your mind, if you set your mind, you know, to just be approved in a test, or even worst, even worst. I know, I know you guys uh, are not this kind of person, yeah? I, I do have here very special people. But unfortunately, sometimes people uh, just fraud. They just ask, you know, uh, other experts to take the test, you know, to take the test. Believe or not, be this is very sad. This is very sad. Um, believe or not, it happened um, two years ago when I started this exposure, you know, on, on internet, this work on internet. People approaching me, offering some money for me to take their uh, stats, you know, tests at the university. Yeah, and at some point I had to write down a standard response, you know, a standard response for them saying, hey guys, I can take, uh, yes, I can take this to the police. I can take this to the police. I can go to your university, you know, and I had a standard, you know, answer talking about the importance of walking the journey because it's really about the final transformation. You know, when, when people ask me, Marcelo, okay, so tell me about the certification process. I say, there is a test. There is a test you need to score, green belt certification process. There is a test, you have 30 questions, you need to score 21 or more. But if the, the real, real test, the real, real test is in six months from now, from one year from now, when you write down a message for me talking about the promotion that you got, talking about the new job that you got, talking about the... Um, the impact in a local business that you had a chance to run, I don't know, a, a, a project, you know, a, a, a continuous improvement, a Lean Six Sigma project, you know. This, this is the kind of final result that we, are, that we are looking for. This is the kind of transformation. It's real transformation, yes? So, uh, you, you guys, I know that maybe this is not so easy to digest. I am not against certification. I love this, the process of certification. As I've mentioned before, uh, <clears throat> life is naturally challenging. So, we need to find our energizers. And I think it's super exciting. It's super exciting that you set your objectives. I want to become a yellow belt. I want to become a green belt. I want to become a black belt. This is super excited, exciting, you know? And I got and I get excited with these kind of uh, objectives, you know? But just keep in mind, keep in your heart the importance of really, really walking the journey. Really walk the journey. Yeah, do not outsource these important things. So if you are taking the test, I mean, it's really you that need to open up, you know, the material and learn and uh, run the exercise and everything. So you will become a better professional, a better person. Yes. Uh, and, uh, and then all the, all the, the other benefits will come naturally, naturally, naturally. Yes. Does it make sense? Type here for me. Does it make sense? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Seems like group individuals are somewhat international. That's very sad. So, yes, Rowan. It's it's yes. Yeah, sometimes they say because see corruption in Brazil. Everybody knows it's a systemic problem, as it is in many other countries. I think. I think. Um, my dear friends in in Africa, people 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 um, talk like like people talk about Brazil. But I have a true a true a true um, international global experience. I I ran a lot of projects in the United States, a lot of projects in many 
in many countries in Europe. Um, I had a chance to go many, many times to Asia. I flew, I don't know, 11, 12 times to Singapore, you know. Corruption is something global. It's systemic. Corruption is systemic. This is part of, you know, uh, unfortunately, this is something connected to to our system as human beings, and we need to fight this. All of us, all of us, we need to fight this, yeah, internally and externally, internally and externally. So it's not something only, you know, in Brazil or in Africa, in my opinion, and from what I saw, you know, from what I saw, um, no, this is this is systemic, this is global, this is global. And one of the most beautiful things in continuous improvement in Lean Six Sigma is that if you do this seriously, you will be able to fight corruption. You will be able to fight corruption. Yeah? Corruption in corporate. <clears throat> yes, you, this is part of our job. <laughs> this is part of our job. Yes. It is part of our job. Sometimes, sometimes in your Ishikawa, when you are running a root cause analysis, one of the potential causes will be corruption. Yeah, corruption is a very common potential cause and many times root causes. Yeah, many times a root cause. Yeah. Yes, Hara, I agree. Yeah, it's, it's, <clears throat> yes, I, I'm seeing you guys here mentioning many countries, it is, it is global. And the, 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 the beauty of this thing is that once again, we can, we can fight this, yeah? And in the, the, the certification process, in the certification process, you must keep this in mind. You must keep this in mind. Believe me, it's better. Uh, our green belt certification process, um, I don't want to. I, I, I don't want this, you know, to sound like something negative. Okay, it's a rigorous. It's a rigorous certification process. So it is relatively, relatively normal that you do not get approved first time. It's relatively normal. Yeah, the number is around forty percent. Forty percent of my students that take the green belt test they are not approved so almost half almost half yeah and then you can take second time no additional cost whenever you feel prepared we support you in case you have any questions we have our our exclusive community of green belts in linkedin we have our uh, email supports we have an amazing tutor an amazing um, professor that that helps specifically you know my my students on this on this day-to-day -day question that is Alexandre Fonseca so we have an entire process an entire process to help you before you take a second time and in case you fail second time there is a third time and in case you fail third time that it has never happened it has never happened almost 3,000 3, green belts. Uh, but we have a plan, we do have a plan, you know, in case uh, a student fail 30 times, yes? But I prefer, I prefer you to take the entire course, take the test, you know, and do not, do not get, you know, approved first time, but you did this by yourself, by your fully by yourself versus you know versus following a, a a corrupt you know path so if i can if i can uh, leave you know uh, an important message for you guys when we talk about the different belt levels is please zero 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 you know, corrupt behavior. Zero, 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 zero. You know, it's better to fail 
you know, in the test, but you took 100% by yourself, you know, um, then using any sort of, you know, corrupt uh, mechanism, mechanism. Yes? Does it make sense? It's, I, again, I know it's not that easy to digest sometimes uh, these kind of words, yes? But I, but I need, I need to talk about this. I need to talk about this, yeah? No, the, 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 our exam is not from ASQ. ASQ is one organization that I do respect very much. I love, I am an ASQ member, yes? Um, but no, the Green Belt certification process in my company is the certificate is issued by my company, by Machado Fernandes Operational Excellence or Machado Fernandes uh, Treinamentos. That means training. And um, <clears throat> and who is you know? Uh, tell me more about the Machado Fernandes training. It's a training company that exists since 2017 that has certified uh, more than 40,000 more than 40,000 um, belts across the globe including all, all levels, all different levels and has as its main instructor Marcelinho Marcelinho de Brasil that is one of the few Master Black Belts certified by SQ and is also a, 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 a official official mini tab trainer yes I do deliver the official mini tab trainings uh, uh, here in Brazil yes uh, but again your certificate is not an ASQ certificate and it is not a mini tab certificate yeah this is very important once again it's a certificate issued by MFOPEX Yes, that is my training company. And once again, it's a company where the lead trainer <coughs> is a certified master black belt by ASQ and a certified Minitab training provider. Yeah. Yes, the Vindra, the yellow belt is lighter. Yes, the yellow belt is lighter. And by the way, let me let me mention a little bit about the, the different belt levels. Yes, and I'm gonna use ASQ as our as our literature yes as our literature for that for that um, as you guys can see in the ASQ website you guys will find white belt white belt yes so who is a white belt it's a professional that understands understands basic Six Sigma concepts from an awareness perspective. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. What's the value? And, and again, this definition comes from the American Society for Quality. What's the value of, ASQ for, of, of a white belt certification? See, if this process is conducted uh, seriously, White belt will help you checking if this world is for you or not. So again, before spending a crazy amount of energy, you know, some amount of money, um, a good amount of time, you know, before, before spending energy, time and money, if you go, you know, for a serious white belt certification process, you can check if you like it or not. Because you will be aware, you will understand what is the make, what is variation reduction, the importance of waste reduction, uh, what is a pyramid structure, the importance of finding the root cause of the problems, the importance of taking the corrective actions, yeah, to maintain the positive results. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? So white belt, it's pretty much, pretty much, you know, understanding the, the basic concepts. But see, many times, many times, a white belt can work on local problem-solving teams that support overall projects. 
I mean, uh, I understand this as white belt can, you know, run some simple, simple, you know, problem solving initiatives, problem solving projects, you know. But may not be part of a Six Sigma project team because in order to be a, a, a project team member, you know, that's the, the you must be at least a yellow belt. Yeah. And by the way, a yellow belt is basically a person that participates as a project team member, a project team member. <coughs> Because again, in order to reduce variation, re minimize waste, solve chronic problems, high complexity um, problems, you must run projects. Yes, and by running projects, you will not do this by yourself. You need, you need to, you need to, you need a team. Yes, and this team must be formed by yellow belts. It's desirable. It's desirable. Yeah, it's strongly recommended that your team is formed by yellow belts. <clears throat> yes, does it make sense? And here there is something interesting. Because see, green belts, <clears throat> green belts will, green belts will, they lead, you know, they lead green belt projects. Okay, so if you wanna, if you wanna, run projects you must be at least a green belt and then i have a question for you imagine that you've just finished your white belt so now you are a certified white belt if you found out that lean six sigma is for you and that you want you want this for your professional life the very first step is to run projects your heart will be full of an uncontrollable desire to run projects. You want to apply this in real life. This is true or not? This is true or not? <clears throat> and that's why in my training company, we stopped offering, we do not offer yellow belt alone anymore. We do not offer yellow belt alone anymore. We made yellow belt as a bonus, as a free bonus of the green belt program. So I strongly believe that after a white belt certification, your next step is to run projects. And in order to run projects, you must, you must um, know the concepts at a green belt level, at a green belt level. And we run satisfaction service regularly in my training company and the satisfaction just exploded. We, we, we were feeling the frustration on our yellow belts, you know? We were feeling the frustration because once again, and, and by the way, it's not easy to find the project to be a member of. It's not easy, like, okay, so here I have a, <clears throat> a list of projects that I can participate. No, 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 normally this, it comes by indication, you know? So you must be, yeah, someone needs to select you. So it's not like knocking some doors and, hey, I am a yellow belt and now I want to be part of your project. It's not easy like that. So once again, after white belt, you need to, you need to run projects, you know. And a green belt will run projects <clears throat> of medium complexity. Normally, it's not very high complexity. But one of the most important advantages of a green belt is that he or she can uh, still keep their regular, you know, uh, BAU, the regular work, you know, BAU work, business as usual. Yes, like the regular work. Normally, for a green to lead a green belt project, we will need 20% uh, of your time. It's one day per week. And why do I consider this a huge advantage? Because it's about risk management. Yeah, I cannot... After So you took the, the white belt certification 
and then you were in love with the method and then based on that you just make the decision of okay so now i want lean six sigma 100 percent of my time so that's what i want to do sometimes it works i i did have students that went straight from white to black yes but i do not recommend that i do not recommend i know that commercially my 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 commercial people in mf treinamentos they get crazy when they see me you know with this speech but again it's about i i i, I am truly focused in career transformation truly focused truly focused i know i know i am conscious that you know this kind of message here hurts uh, the revenue of my company but from the bottom of my heart i truly don't care <laughs> i truly don't care it's not only about revenue revenue is important you know but it's not only about that i want to you know what about a legacy you know and again what about it's cool it's cool it's exciting to see you know people getting their careers transformed positively transformed it's cool it's exciting it's cool it's so amazing you know when i see the messages on linkedin the messages on email yesterday we started a wave in africa you know it's crazy it's crazy to wake up and see 200 emails of thank you it's crazy it's crazy more than 200 emails and the messages on linkedin and messages of appreciation like thank you because once again we are all fighting battles we are all fighting battles i just saw my dear friend from sri lanka i saw the news yesterday I don't want to talk about this, but I saw and I feel sad. I feel sad. I feel sad we have this kind of problems in Brazil as well. So we are all fighting battles, you know. So if you can do um, some good, you know, even if it's minimal, minimal good, you know, minimal good, you can... Um, I know it sounds cliche. I know it sounds cliche, but you can make a better world you know sometimes just doing you know simple things simple things it was just one session session one of white belt you know and you can and, and then you are fighting you are fighting you know these challenging things in life yeah this is part of our mission this is part of all of us because see 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 especially for my green belts if there is any green belt here yeah it's part of your mission is to spread this message and maybe after you run a project you can become a black belt and maybe you can start teaching six sigma why not why not maybe you can start doing the very same thing that i do why not Why not? Yeah, so a, a green belt, a green belt, a green belt will lead projects. Black belt will lead projects full time. So normally a black belt will lead projects full time. So that's why <clears throat> I am a little bit concerned in recommending. I got a message. Let me see here if I can find it. From the top of my my mind. Because uh, I, I like to read the messages. Mohammed. The session was very much educating for me as a first timer into the Lean Six Sigma world. I want to go all the way through master with my mentor. I, I feel very happy. 
I feel honored. I feel glad, you know, to get this message. <clears throat> yeah. But it's my responsibility. It's my responsibility to calibrate. To cal there is one important, at least one important s step, you know, b before going to to the black belt certification. You must you must run at least one project part time part time just keep doing what you are doing so white belt beautiful oh, i love that oh my god i love the make i love i love the make the make changed my life okay so now i am super excited what's the next step let's learn more let's understand what's an anova chi square control chart different types of control charts cpk ppk uh, Z level, you know, sigma level. Let's uh, understand, really understand all different components of a project charter, you know, scope definition, risk assessment, um, problem statement, goal statement, CIPOC, process mapping, different techniques for, <coughs> I'm sorry, to map a process. And after that, let's run at least one project. And after that, you'll be able to check even more if this is for you or not full time. Because then it's another decision. Then the decision is, oh my God, now will I be a continuous improvement expert full time, full time? Okay, okay, so black belt is for you, black belt is for you, and black belt is for you. And if you want to become an educator, if you want to, you know, uh, to study every single day Lean Six Sigma, and you want to connect, you know, business strategy to to the to the continuous improvement program, then you are ready to become a master black belt. You know, Marcelo, there are black belts that do not operate full time. Yes, 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 there are. But by concept, by the book, a black belt is a person that at least for a certain period of time, the recommendation is at least two years, you've operated, you've worked full time running Lean Six Sigma projects. Yes. Does it make sense? Type here for me. Does it make sense? I see many, many questions I want to address. Let me see if I can address all of that. All, all, all of them. To achieve good th things, you have to work hard. I agree with you, Kandasami. Uh, professor, any Minitab training course? Yes, Viraj. So all the official Minitab trainings uh, in Brazil are delivered by me in Portuguese. Yeah, the <clears throat> this is the this is the official Minitab training, <laughs> like uh, one thousand and two hundred pages yeah um so here we have a lot of doe design of experiments we have a lot of hypothesis tests and we have a lot of control charts and um and uh but now in english my recommendation is you can you can reach out to you can go to the minitab website minitab.com and you will find something called Education Hub, Minitab Education Hub. It's online, yeah? And you'll find a lot of official Minitab trainings um, in English, yeah? And if there is anyone from Brazil here, when you go to the Education Hub, the, the papers, the, all the content in Portuguese, uh, I had a chance, to, I had a chance to, to contribute. Yeah, it's a teamwork. It's a teamwork. Contribute. Okay. Will the green belt exam be from an SKNO? How rigorous is the yellow belt process? Yeah, so the yellow belt process, Vindra, again, it's much, much lighter. Yeah, much, much lighter. In MF Treinamentos, we have uh, 15 questions, one hour. So you have four minutes per question. This is considered easy. And you need to score 60%. You need to score nine or more out of the 15. Uh, for the green belt certification, uh, in MFOPEX, we have 30 questions in one hour, so two minutes per question, and you need to score 21 or more, 70% or more, and you have um, 
let's say on your own you have three chances yeah? professor i live in africa one of the biggest challenges is to implement lean six sigma projects in africa i wonder the compatibility of lean six sigma in such environment yes as is this is global as well the implementation of Lean, the challenges to implement lean six sigma this is global and i have two important recommendations to fight this battle in corporate uh, you need to find at least one senior leader that believes in the method yes and will support you you must have a good sponsor you must have a good sponsor if you do not have at least one strong sponsor I would recommend you finding another department or maybe another company because there are companies and companies there are companies that the culture is just terrible you know and I do not recommend you waste your wasting your time there <clears throat> I do recommend you to find yeah to find because there are companies and companies so this is one thing okay you need to find at least one senior leader that supports the methodology <coughs> And, uh, and supports the methodology, I mean, there is a, the famous, what's in it for me? What's in it for the leader? Yeah. So it's really listening to the voice of the business as strongly as you listen to the voice of the customer. Yeah. Because businesses, they have important, you know, strategic drivers. So when you select a project that is connected to something that that is strategic yeah the relevance of the project increases a lot so one of the most common mistakes is we get passionate by the method and we forget to apply the same rigor to select a relevant problem the problem must be relevant must be relevant must be relevant yeah <clears throat> professor can i still watch this tomorrow yes yes this is an open session and uh, it gets here recorded for you guys okay and by the way there are many other videos here <clears throat> professor from your advice experience how hard is it you find to implement lean six sigma okay yeah you need to find a kind of at least one angel you know is because there are yeah there are there are good people in this world there are good people in this world there are there are good people and we need to find you know these guys <clears throat> professor who is rated as number one certifying body for going back by far ASQ by far by far <clears throat> Subra Subra by far ASQ and and I do not get like one cent to say this I am saying this because I know ASQ I had a chance to present in many conferences I am an ASQ member I took the black belt certification test I took the master black belt certification process ASQ exists since 1946 1946 in ASQ you know during this journey ASQ had direct and indirect support from take a look in the list from edwards deming from joseph juran the black belt certification process was created by a guy named greg watson and i had a chance to see this live in in in, in houston yes if i'm not wrong in arizona i'm sorry in in a in a, in a city in the state of arizona uh in the United States, in the United States. Uh, let me see. Now I got, I got curious to remember the name of the. the name of the city. Yes, in Phoenix, in Phoenix, Arizona. And I had a chance to see Greg Watson talking about. Um, the the sponsorship from 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 joseph juran so the black belt certification process created by sq was you know indirectly you know uh, 
supported, sponsored by Joseph Jurana. And then in this list, you have Kaoru Ishikawa, you have Akao from QFD, you have Keno from Keno Model, Feigenbaum, you know, Crosby. So, I mean, all the, all the real quality gurus at some point, again, directly or indirectly, were connected <clears throat> to this institution, you know, the American Society for Quality. So, yes, by far, by far, by far the number one. And we humbly, we humbly, in MF Treinamentos, we do our best <coughs> to be as inspiring, as inspiring and as serious as the American Society for Quality. The American Society for Quality is a huge inspiration for MF Treinamentos, okay? <coughs> Will the minute of training in the green belt be okay to get a job uh, to work as an expert? D. Uh, our green belt is full of minitab. Is there any certified green belt by MF here? If yes, please type here. <laughs> type here if you agree or not with my statement. If there is any green belt certified by me here, type in our chat window. Uh, our green belt is full of Minitab, full of Minitab. So yes, you will learn a lot of Minitab to be considered um, an expert. Yeah. We are working now in Africa. Can this video be saved? Yes, yes, for sure. This video will be saved. Professor, based on the literature, <clears throat> what's a green belt project? There are different projects. Yes, a green belt project, it's a medium complexity project. Okay, so it's not a super easy project. And so what, what, what does it mean, a medium complexity? Just one CTQ, just one Y, yes, and the scope uh, is limited. So if you have, I don't know, 10 different products, normally a green belt project will touch just one project yeah and just one just one product and just one characteristic for example yeah so as i've presented in another opportunity here like the diameter of a copper cable you know but just just for one type of product yeah so we were optimizing diameter but just for one type of copper cable yeah Yes. So who says how complex the problem is? <clears throat> um, I don't know if this is open. I th let me check if this is open. Portfolio management. Six Sigma. Yeah, the, the problem is that <clears throat> this is in this is in Portuguese only. <clears throat> this is my my PhD thesis, and then from my PhD thesis there is a there is a model. There is a model. You know to select projects to select projects. And then we have an, uh, let me see here, one second. Oh, 
let, let me do something different here. Unfortunately, this is not open, you know, so <clears throat> but at least for you guys to have a flavor, okay? <clears throat> this is the quality progress, that is the, um, the official publication of ASQ. And I had a chance in February 2019 to get that that was very special to get the, um, the cover page, the cover page of quality progress. So it's the uh, 18 step process for Lean Six Sigma uh, portfolio management, you know, and uh, So you, you have, see, complexity, this is part of my PhD thesis, complexity and impact, okay? So impact of the project is, <clears throat> so, so again, a, a green belt project will be normally in this region, you know, medium complexity, medium low complexity, and a black belt project will be in this region. Obviously, you need to avoid projects that have low impact and high complexity, Yes, and to be honest, I don't like very much projects with low impact and uh, low complexity. People say that this is normally good for for um, entry level, you know, or for, you know, um, sometimes for yellow belts if they are running projects. But it's really cool to operate in this, in this region here. Yeah. And what does, what does impact mean? So this score here is formed by different elements. So there is one element that is connection to the voice of the customer, uh, in, uh, connection to the business strategy, the potential financial result. Yes, basically these three elements. And complexity, they are connected to four elements. These four elements are the how manageable is the scope of the project and manageable uh, in relation to the um, to the knowledge about the causes yes knowledge about the causes because again lean six sigma normally we take we use when we don't know anything about the causes yes but sometimes you don't know anything at all at all zero 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 but sometimes you have just some a list of hypotheses at least some hypothesis to be tested. This is one. The second one is how available the resources are, because sometimes the complexity is not that huge, <coughs> but there are so many other projects <coughs> that the availability of the resources, the, 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 the experts, for example, uh, it's not there, they are not available. So it increases the complexity, the, the because complexity, it's not something absolute, yeah, it's, yeah, it's relative to something, right? And the availability of the resources is something extremely, extremely, extremely important. The third one is the number of KPIs. Is it measurable? Do you have historical data? Do you have historical data? Yeah. Uh, no, you need to implement, you need to start measuring, you know, so sometimes you do not even know if the problem is relevant. And the fourth one is the support from the leadership. And it has to do with compl with culture, you know, the continuous improvement culture. So as we had a question here about the, about the, um, how do you deal with scenarios where, you know, the level of corruption is too high or you don't have 
the proper support from, from leadership, it has to do with the culture, yes? So see that it's not only the problem itself, it's the problem uh, in comparison to the, to, it's the contextualized problem, yes? It's the problem in conjunction with with other elements, with the with the context, yes? This, with the environment, for example. Leadership, yes, the availability of the resources. Yes, was it helpful? Was it helpful? Vindra. Yeah? Uh, yes, Kenny, perfect. Green belt will use 20% of their time and a black belt full time, yes? Your seminar in White Belt, <clears throat> I have my perspective in Six Sigma. I'm glad I was able to attend and finish. That's great, Edward. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What's your recommendation regarding taking the exams for Yellow and Green Belt? <clears throat> One after the other? Or is there a specific time I should take the Yellow? Yes, Rodrigo, thank, thanks a lot for your question. I do strongly for for uh, the green belt in English. I do strongly recommend that you take the entire list of modules, you do your exercise, you take note, you know? So videos, theory, exercise, you take note, and then uh, you take the yellow belt test and write away the green belt test. That's my recommendation. That's my recommendation. You know, max the, 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 the gap in terms of time, max one day, max one day. That's my recommendation, okay? Yes, perfect. Yeah, full minute. Uh, Nilusha, yellow and green, <clears throat> it's a 60 hour experience. So some people take in one week, some people take in a month, I do not recommend to take in more than two months, but the entire period of access, normally it's one year. Okay, it's one year. Yes, my dear friends, did you guys enjoy? Was that helpful? Was that helpful? So white belt awareness, yellow belt can be a member of a team. Green belt, that in my opinion, is by far the most relevant certification. Yeah, because you can lead projects without leaving your regular work black belt full time this is a you know a serious conversation black belt you know and then master black belt if you want to dedicate your entire life for that and to to work to operate as a as a, as an expert yes beautiful i find this mechanism super exciting you know because it sets objectives so you can feel motivated, yes, your enthusiasm will go up, uh, but you need to be careful so you can guarantee that you are not just checking the box. You definitely don't want to take, to walk this journey just to check the box, just to have a lot of documents, you know. No, it must be more than that, okay? Wonderful. Thank you so much, Ray. Thank you so much, Rowan. Thank you, Vindra. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me in this session live okay and if you are taking this session uh recorded uh, know that you are equally equally special it's in my opinion it's much better to join live because then we can interact and i can address your questions uh properly yes guys thank you so much have an amazing rest of week and i'll see you guys next tuesday next tuesday okay bye bye